Face to Connect 2021, our conference come to an end and it's time to wrap up. Let me start with a couple of eyes opener that we got from our various panelists that was very rich in discussion and that we will give us food for thought in the coming weeks and months. First, six out of 10 global companies are making money only when their uh, customers are connected. 2021 will be a record year for venture capital. 100 billion US dollar will be invested into startup, investments that will be mainly outside of Europe, but into Europe. The market value of cloud computing will double over the next five years to reach 832 billion US dollar. And finally, only 9% of the population of our planet are today addressed by satellite. This means that only half of a percent of broadband users, 45 million people, this will double in the next five years. What does this fact are teaching us? They teach us that connectivity is a centerpiece, that is the keystone of our digital economy. Now space has entered this digital economy and is a key player of it. They teach us that the appetite for private investors is keep growing in the space sector, including Europe's space sector. They teach us that operators can no longer rely on the fact that they own a network and capitalize their infrastructure. Federate networks, the system of systems, are the way to go to leverage our investment and to cope with the exponential challenge that we face. Verticalization, up and downstream, from infrastructure to services, and their translation into value-added product and space-based solution for the benefit of our citizens is key in the coming years. A lot of innovation can be made in those areas. Cloud and AI has to move increasingly into space. Cloud computing and edge computing in space is the future that we will need to target. They are key for crisis management, they are key to protect our data and intelligence, develop our sovereignty and autonomy, but in a sustainable and European way. In a financial and an environmental sense, both. We need to become greener, we need to develop solutions for the planet, people and the profit. This conference taught us a couple of principles that many of the participants seem to share. The principles that our intelligence and data need to be protected. The principle that sovereignty is a key requirement for all European connectivity initiative. The principle that we have to apply, a sense of pragmatism in all what we do to reach the right speed. The principle that sustainability has to be financial as well as environmental. Both of the side of the coin go hand to hand. We want to develop efficient solution and let the public do what the public can do best and let the market decide when the market can decide. So public and private has really to work hand in hand, leveraging on each other and being beneficial of each other in their endeavor. The principle that we have to become green, being responsible and sustainable in all what we developed and boost innovation at the foremost. This conference and ultimately you, all its participants, thanks for joining and we are confirming our commitment that our strategic direction that we propose as the European Space Agency, as your space agency, will be developed for your need and your purpose. It confirms us our analysis and the strategic line that we have derived from it. There is an overarching need for secure, resilient, green and sustainable system space-based solution to protect our climate, act on crises, secure our health, education, energy and transport. This solution needs to be deployed as a full ecosystem between space and ground, fully integrated system. Artificial intelligence, Internet of Things, quantum technology, cloud and edge computing, 5G and 6G. We need strong partnership to do it together, leveraging on the advantage of our space asset and our next generation of technology and know-how. We need to do it together, private and public entities, all hand to hand to reach our ambition. Connectivity is key, not only as a catalyst for Earth observation and navigation, but also to enable new type of federated cognitive next generation system. Europe needs a strong space sector, 
to accelerate the use of space to build European digital sovereignty, digital economy, and digital society. We did right in setting this in our Agenda 2025, to boost commercialization, to strengthen ESA and EU relations, to strengthen space for safety and security, and to transform ESA with all our passion behind and our partners and people. Our two light motifs remain innovation and go to market. Our intention remains to evolve the way we work in the current and future partnership to be at the speed of the industry, engage with new users, reach new markets and build new solutions, boost our partnership across all sectors from space and digital economy. Ladies and gentlemen, we discuss a lot. It was important to exchange, engage, dispute, align and join forces. But now it's time to act. Let's do it together. Let's go back to work and make it happen. We'd certainly be in touch with you very soon to do the job. Looking forward to that. All the best. Thank you so much. <laughs>